Hey folks, it's Kurt from Whitetails Deer Hunting, and tonight I'm going to talk to you guys about the new Tethered One sticks that I got. I don't know about you guys, but when they were on back order last year, I was definitely pretty disappointed because I couldn't wait to get my hands on these. I was really excited when uh, they finally came back out again and I ordered them. But like many of you guys, I was disappointed in one thing. You could not get packages of three and individuals. They only sold them in packages of three. I've heard a ton of people talking about, well, how are we really going to use these to get as high as we need to be in the tree? So today, I've got a solution for you with some DIY aiders that are going to get you probably about 18 feet up in the air. couple of things before I go ahead and talk to you about the aider itself. Uh, if you look up here at this stick, I've done a video already on how I stealth strip these to keep them quiet and also use some things called stick stack stow clips from a company called Genesis 3D. And both of these things have really made it a lot easier for me to be using these sticks out here in the fall. Uh, the stealth strips just help to quiet it and gives it a nice camouflage appearance when it's out there. And also the 3D clips make it a lot easier to get the actual sticks bundled together. Here's an idea for you guys what the stick stack stow clips look like. And very simply, you can just go ahead and pull your stick right out of that clip and you can put it back down in. I did still leave the orange pins at the bottom. So I'll go ahead and I will drop these orange pins down into the stick below it. And then I go ahead and just squeeze it together and seat it in that clip. Really makes it pretty simple to say the least. I want to begin by going through a list of materials with you guys to give you an idea what you need to build this simulator. Uh, first of all, uh, I've got uh, three Gen 2 1 sticks here. I've got a tape measure, a lighter, got some scissors, utility knife. I've got four or five different screwdrivers of different diameters. I've got some duct tape and four pieces of hose. So what I did the first thing was I went ahead and I decided how far I wanted my steps to be apart. Uh, the distance from the actual sticks themselves, uh, Tethered put them 17 inches apart. I wanted to try and extend that a little bit. The first stick I have has a double aider that are 17 inch steps. And then the second stick I have and third stick I have are single aiders, but these are 19 inches. And again, it gets me somewhere between about 17 and 18 feet up in the air. Once you figure out how far you want these steps, you then need to go ahead and you need to measure the rope appropriately, including knots. So you've got to take your distance here, which for me on this one is 19 inches times two is 38. This is about nine inches in between right here. So there's 47. And then for each one of those knots, I included six inches as you go through it. And then I made sure to leave um, some extra on the ends. What I actually did on these so that I would not end up being in a situation that I cut it too short was I went ahead and tied the first knot on this side, tied the knot on the top, extended my rope all the way down, tied my knot here, put my hose piece on, tied my knot on this side, this 19 inches, tied my knot on this side, and then left all the extension that I had here of another six or eight feet of rope, and then I was able to cut it from there. One of the things that's important after cutting the rope is to make sure they don't fray. So I go through with a lighter on this polypropylene rope and I heat it up. And just with my hands, I slowly go ahead and move over that heated material. Uh, make sure it's not too hot so you don't end up burning your fingers. But then what you do is that lighter helps to go ahead and singe the ends of these so they don't fray up as easily uh, when you're out in the field. I tried pushing the rope through the hose pieces and the diameter of the rope is just too thick in comparison with the hose piece and you only get it about two or three inches in there and you can't pull it any further. So what I decided I was going to do was I was going to go ahead and use some screwdriver pieces and start with a very, very small, tiny screwdriver and I'm going to begin to work my diameter up making the hole bigger and bigger until the hole is actually large enough that I can go ahead and push 
this weed whacker string through the actual piece of rope that I've already melted the end on. Some of these are a little tough to push through, but again, each time you're doing it, you're making the diameter of this hole a little bit bigger, trying to work it around a little bit. Keep an eye on where the hole is as you get the next larger diameter screwdriver. Continue to make this hole bigger and bigger. Use the screwdriver here to hopefully make the last hole to make it large enough to just go ahead and pop this weed whacker string right through. There, finally. Got that weed whacker string pulled through there. Then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take my hose piece and I'm gonna pull this weed whacker string through. And once I get the weed whacker string pulled through, then I'm gonna be able to push this into the actual hose itself and pull it through. Sometimes it helps to have a pair of pliers to get started here. There it is, it pulls it right through for you. I'm gonna take a simple overhand knot and I'm gonna go ahead and tie this overhead knot in up against the actual piece of hosing itself. And I'm gonna do the uh, same thing on the other side. And what this is gonna do is this gonna prevent the actual hose from sliding left or right at the bottom of the aider. Uh, it's especially important, you know, when you're either going up in the morning in the dark or especially when you're coming down in the dark at night and it's tough to see where your foot is trying to catch the bottom of this hose. Tighten that right up as much as I can on both sides. I played around with the knots a couple different ways up here and I found that the knots I just were not happy with. Number one, the first knot I did had the piece of string uh, hanging out where my foot would be stepping, especially in the dark. I just don't want that. I want to be able to step right onto the step coming down at night or first thing going up in the morning. So instead what I did with this knot was I went ahead and I put the rope up through the actual tethered one stick and I wrapped it around, brought it up through the tethered one stick hole again and then put it down through so that my knot is now at the bottom and this excess rope sticks out the bottom of the tethered one stick. So when I put my foot on this base right here, I'm putting my foot in a position where it's stepping just on the actual grit or the actual metal right here and it's not stepping on the actual rope. Made it a lot more safe for me going up and coming down, especially on a rainy day. So I just want to show you guys real quick how I put these together. I take my first stick or bottom stick with the two aiders, I set it on the bottom. I drop the orange clips into the base of the stick below it and I simply snap that in to the stick stack stow clip and then I take my third stick, put the pins in the bottom, snap it in. I then take all four of my hose pieces right here and I ball them up and I take some of these rubberized grip ties and I go ahead and tighten them up around the actual sticks. Two of them that I have fluorescent yellow so I don't lose them. Then if you take a look I've got everything that I need to climb up the tree right there. I've got my three sticks, I've got my aiders, I got the rope and I got the twist ties to hold them together.
pretty awesome. I want to give you guys an idea of what these sticks actually look like. There's actually my first stick with the double aider on it. There's my second stick with a single aider and my third stick with a single aider. What I end up usually doing is when I'm standing on the very top of the third stick, I put my stand on a 90 degree angle around the tree, about 12 inches higher than the top of the uh, third stick. And like I said, it gets me somewhere between about 17 and 18 feet in the air without stretching. If I went ahead and extended these a little bit more or I had longer legs, I could probably get up closer to 19 or 20. But again, here's a great solution for only having three tethered one sticks and how you can use some very simple aiders to get yourself a little bit higher in the tree this fall when you go out to hunt. Good luck guys, if you've got any questions, go ahead and put them in the comments. This is Kurt from Whitetails Deer Hunting. Please don't forget to subscribe, I hope this helps you out. You guys have a great day. See ya.